All right, Jim, and Whitaker will be taking on Nick Parker. An enthusiastic crowd has gathered at the Memorial Coliseum in Corpus Christi, Texas, to watch this one. And, you know, we have been following the careers, the pro careers, of several American Olympic medalists since November. The results have been varied. The most heralded Mark Breland is 3-0, and but he hasn't knocked anybody out, so he's been criticized for that. Meldrick Taylor has looked very good, perhaps looked best of all. And then following the Wood Memorial, we'll see Terrell Biggs, who's been a big question mark, as he battles his way back from a drug problem. Time permitting, we'll also be taking a look at Evander Holyfield, who had to settle for the bronze medal in the Olympics after that controversial decision by the Yugoslavian referee. So we're about set for Pernell Whitaker, who won the gold in the lightweight division. No Olympic lightweight gold medalist has ever gone on to win a pro title, but he is 3-0, and and he has knocked out all three opponents, and Nick Parker... A substitute two weeks ago, Bobby Johnson originally was scheduled to be the opponent here. He was hurt as we look at the tail of the tape. Parker is 26, Whitaker is 21. Whitaker came in at 136, Parker at 134 this morning. Not much disparity right there, and we are ready for action with Humberto Barrera, the referee here in Corpus Christi. Whitaker, southpaw in this scheduled six-rounder. Parker initially trying to steal some of the thunder from the crowd favorite by coming out with tassel trunks, which elicited quite a response from the crowd. Pernell Whitaker from Norfolk, Virginia. Watch your head. Here in Texas, three judges doing the scoring at ringside. John Whitney, Dennis Collins, and Barry Yates. Not scoring referee Barrera. Ten-point must system. There's a mandatory eight, no standing eight. Three knockdown rule is in effect, cannot be saved by the bell except in the sixth and final round. Nick Parker coming in with a mark of 13, 4, and 1. He lost to Tyrone Crawley. Lost a 10-round decision. Crawley next month will be taking on Livingston Bramble for the WBA Lightweight Championship. So Parker has some class and should be a good test for Whitaker in his fourth pro fight. Purnell trying to stay in control here in the first round. There's a tendency to think of him as an all-out knockout artist, and he does land a good left there. But he has excellent skills, and he's the man who will seek the knockout if the opportunity presents itself. Doesn't necessarily come storming into the ring looking for it outright. Setting a nice pace here in the first round, which is just past the halfway mark. Corpus Christi, Texas. Whitaker with constant pressure. Parker still trying to establish something offensively as Whitaker has been throwing all of the punches of consequence. Whitaker, good right jab. Pull up a cut chip. Good straight left hand, great hand speed, great foot speed. Generally an all-around outstanding boxer. And a man that a lot of people feel will, before too long, be ranked in the top ten and eventually fighting for a championship. And certainly he has done nothing to dispel that in his pro career. Let's go. He's able to turn Parker around. And it looked like he landed a low blow, but no issue of a warning from Humberto Herrera. Though he does cover up as Whitaker tries to work underneath. Good body shots here. And the first round that is belonging to Whitaker as it winds its way down. Good right hand right there as the first round of this scheduled six-rounder comes to an end in Texas. Second round as we come to you live from Corpus Christi, Texas. The Olympic gold medalist, Pernell Whitaker. On the right, Nick Parker in the white tassel trunks. First round, Whitaker put all the pressure on. He had Parker backing up. Never let Parker get into the round. Right followed by a left. He's working the body well. Trying to get Parker to drop his hands. And seek the opening up top if it is there. And leading with that right and then coming downstairs with the left hand. Mark 
Whitaker is yet to throw a punch that's really landed. Joel Whitaker. And he sets it up with a jab. Comes underneath, missing with a right hand. That was picked off. Again, quite similar now to the first round. Whitaker dictating the pace of the fight. It's going a little less active, though, overall. And round one, scheduled for six. And reeling and into the world. And the referee, Humberto Barrera, giving him the mandatory eight count. He never fully went down to the canvas. Got caught on the bottom strand of the rope. Of the ropes, and up he comes. So Whitaker, with a vicious left hand, getting the knockdown here in the second round. Parker, not necessarily showing the effects of it, but Whitaker keeping that pressure on, and it won't be long before he does again. That was a flash knockdown. Good right hand to the body, a good left hand again, and Whitaker keeps putting that pressure on. Whitaker looks very confident. You can just see it in his eyes as he has this one fully in control. A lot of ring savvy, a tremendous amount of poise for somebody so relatively inexperienced, at least in the professional sense, even though he did have an extensive amateur career. And Parker backing up again in the final half minute of round two. The one thing everybody talked about after the first three fights with Cornell Whitaker was that ring savvy that he's exhibited. The great boys. Looks like a man who's been around for four or five years in the program. The round belongs to Whitaker. The second round is over. 